Okay, today is the day that we take on the big boys. The top of the league. It's first versus second. We are trying to get that first spot, but we are in second. So we're taking on the big boys. No, not Liverpool. No, not Manchester City. Manchester United, get out, get out. It's Arsenal. What are they doing up there? It's a North London double bill here. Let's go. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another FM 2022 video number, what, four? Something like that? I've lost count already, so it started well. Yeah, big, big episode today, we've got Arsenal first, who are top of the league, then we've got Spurs, because I just thought those two fixtures lined up together, quite nice, but how have we been getting on since, uh, since you last with us with the uh, cup victory over Manchester City? Well, let's let's show you. Okay, so as you can see, the cup victory over Manchester City. Um, well, it it was a good victory, but it was the start of something quite poor for us. We lost 1-0 to Leicester in the Premier League. A big, big defeat there. But we did manage to beat Rangers 3-1 in the Champions League, which is going pretty well despite a 2-0 loss to Sevilla. You'll see later on. Two back-to-back -back draws in the Premier League was... Slightly disappointing. The 1 1 with West Ham, really disappointing. Man United, not as bad a 1 1. I, I didn't mind that so much. But we bounced back to Premier League winning ways with two big wins. Brighton to, to, to restore the winning mentality. We won in the Carabao Cup fourth round on penalties against Burnley. A bit of an off one, but we're into the next round. And then we beat Manchester City away from home by a goal to nil and a pretty big result here. Romelu Lukaku scoring the goal. Very pleased with that. And then we went to... Well, we had Sevilla at home and we smashed them 6-0. Lukaku with a hat-trick. hudson Adoy got two. Egon Rubin lost his cheek on the score sheet. Don't know what happened to Sevilla, but they did not turn up. So now we're in really good form. Four wins on the bounce, really, if you include the penalties. Can we continue that into Arsenal and then Tottenham? Two pretty huge games. As you can see by the Premier Division the table here, we are in second place, but Arsenal do have a game in hand over us. So if they win this game and the game in hand, it's a big, big gap already. Arsenal have been amazing so far, unbeaten this season. I have no idea how Mikel Arteta has done this, but he has done this. And uh, I am very surprised too. It is such a great start of the season, despite the loss to MK Dons, which I'm guessing he put out a change squad. He did a little bit, but they beat Tottenham 5-0 on the opening day. They beat Everton, and they've beaten Manchester United in that run, but this is a big month for them. Chelsea and then Liverpool. So this episode could change things completely. If we beat Arsenal and beat Tottenham and Arsenal lose both games, all of a sudden the table switches round. So this is the side that's going to uh, take place here. I'm getting emails, don't worry about it. This is the side that's going to uh, hopefully down the Gunners. We are looking at the 4-2-3, the 4-1-4-1, 4-3-3, whatever you call them nowadays. Mendy in goal, Rhys James in the wing-back position. We've got Christensen and Rudiger who are starting to build a nice little partnership at centre-back. Ben Chilwell at left-back. A three midfield at the moment of Jorginho, Conte and Mount. No place for Kovacic at the moment. No place for some of the others, including, of course, Kai Havertz, which is a bit of a disappointment for him. No soul either, who's currently injured. Um, on the left, in the inverted winger position, we've got Hakim Ziyech, who has had a pretty good start to the season in that run. Despite the injury that he had, as we mentioned in the last episode, five appearances, a goal and assist, a 7.16 rating. He's not bad at all. He's also scored in the uh, European game. So he's, he's starting to pick up some form. Callum hudson had always had a really good start to the season. He keeps his place. Lukaku up front. That's four goals in the last two games. Can he continue it against the Arsenal? We hope so indeed. It all It is about desire, Arteta. And we are, we are desiring the victory. Thank you very much. 
Okay, then other results as we are the late game. We'll run through them quickly. Manchester United beat Liverpool, so they're up into third. Point behind us now, so the pressure's on us. Aston Villa, by the way, into fourth. Despite a loss to Watford, John McGinn sending off seemed key. And yeah, Villa never really quite recovered. Newcastle beat Wolves by a goal to nil. Um, so the hand diter flick error at Newcastle has got off to a pretty good start. They are fifth in the Premier League. And yeah, despite a bad month in September against three pretty good Premier League teams, they've got some good results there. Palace and Watford beat in there. West Ham a draw. They beat Leeds, beat Brentford, beat Norwich and beat Wolves. They've had what is so far a pretty good run. They've got some big fixtures coming up. We are yet to, we're not we're plan, not playing until January. We may we may bring that into an episode. Everton also got a win over Brighton and Brentford beat Crystal Palace. So Brentford up into 11th, the bottom three at the moment. Brighton Palace and Watford, Everton struggling down there. Tottenham only in 13th, by the way. That's a that's not a good start from them. As you can see with the goals in the team at the moment, Lukaku leading the way with 14, no surprise there. But interesting that Kai Havertz and Timo Werner, Callum hudson Doy are all starting to get some goals. Hakim Ziyech too as well. But uh, we need them to ramp it up a little bit more. This is the team then that's playing as we've gone through. Let's let's ramp it up again. I've selected three substitutes outside of the matchday squad. But when they're... I mean, Trevor Chalobah? Let's swap Chalobah for Sarr because I think Chalobah offers a little bit more. Okay, then this is the two teams. Then Arsenal then line up with quite a, quite a, the team they are tending to play at the moment, which have got them on a good run in real life, right? Aaron Ram Ramsdale, Tommy Asu, White, Gabriel, Gabriel even, Tierney, Xhaka, Party, Pepe, Odegaard, Saka, and a Bamiyang up front. But on the bench, you do know they've got the likes of, well, no one, because where the hell is Alexander Lacazette? He's not on the bench. So. They've gone all out from the start. If it doesn't work for them, they don't have a lot of change up front. Zach Swanson on the bench. Interesting. Hate to say, but it feels like at this point of the save, because of the we want to do this this season and because of the start that Arsenal have had, I feel like this is a must win for us in a lot of ways. We're at home with a home team. We've got to try and take the game to them in my eyes today. As you can see, they're the league table. Arsenal have had a super start, but if we win this, we go to the top of the league. And Arsenal have got Liverpool next. So it's I think I think I want to win this game, right? Okay, ten minutes in and it's well been a, a drab start, not a lot happening. Arsenal to have the first highlight, it seems, but Ben Chilwell straight in there and looking for Lukaku over the top. He didn't quite make the run. So Arsenal restart again. We've got to try and nick the ball in there. I'd like to dominate the ball a bit more, but Arsenal seem to be settled into this possession style of football. That's not possession, but Saka's gonna win it because well, Reese James didn't run, didn't jump for it, but Chelsea have got it back. We're, we're going to play the ball out wide, use our wide positions, hopefully, um, and, and create opportunities for the likes of Lukaku or Ziyech or Hudson Odoi. Kante does really well there. There's a ball through to Hakim Ziyech, who's going to go for goal, and Ramsdale makes the early save. Well, it's not early, but the first save of the game. Chelsea are coming back straight away, by the way. James with a cross, Ziyech with a header. Hakim Ziyech is up for this one. Two sides that probably cancel each other out quite well, but I'm interested by Ziyech versus Tommy Asso in particular. I feel like that's where we can get down. And now that I've said this while I'm thinking about it, like Tierney versus um, Callum hudson Adoy, not as much I feel like we're going to get as much joy. So let's not focus play down the right, but focus play down the left-hand side on Ziyech, on Chilwell getting forward against Tommy Asso and Pepe. Pepe's not going to get back, right? So... I feel like that's where we can get some joy. Um, but at half-time, it's still very even. We've edged it for sure. XG's a lot higher, but we haven't got the goal. So keep going. We'll get there. That's motivated a lot of them. Hakim Ziyech on a booking, but um, we do have someone like Pulisic. Actually, Callum Hudson and Doyle struggling. We'll get Pulisic on, on the right-hand side. We could always switch them over again. But I do want to focus on the left-hand side here. Chilwell, in particular, can get an early crossing. Romelu Lukaku's there. And Chelsea finally have the lead. That is the tactic, boys, wasn't it? Early crosses from the wing-back positions and Romelu Lukaku scores. I mean, I hate to say I, I, I did that because of focusing play down the left. But we focused on the left, got the early cross. Romelu Lukaku scores. 1-0 Chelsea. We go top of the league. If we win this, there's a highlight after the goal. Why? 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 <laughs> That's the highlight after the goal. 
that's the highlight after the goal. Bakayo Saka scores. You'll see the replay here because I guess I would have edited it so you didn't see it. Um, it's, I mean, it's well worked. Saka's beaten James and got the finish. Right, we go again, shall we? Was I enjoying myself too much there, game? Was I? We've given away a free kick in a pretty good position. We've got some bookings to worry about, weirdly. Granite Jack are over it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Not with him. Lukaku is struggling up there, up front. He is the one man who is struggling. However, I feel like he's the man that offers us the most. So it's a difficult one to change. We're not going to at the moment. Hakim Ziyech over the free kick. We know he likes him from there. Oh, and Ramsdale nearly forced it in. Nearly a big opportunity. Arsenal have made some changes. There's 10 minutes to go here. And a draw isn't a terrible result. I'm aware of that. Oh, a win would be a very good result. Kai Havertz is going to come on. Uh, do we change his position up? I mean, not really. He's probably fine where he is. Just as changing in, in personnel. We're going to continue focusing on the left. Maybe Kai Havertz can be the, the, the change we need to, to find out. Oh, it's over the top to Lukaku straight away. Romelu Lukaku! It didn't matter. It's all about Lukaku. It's always been about Romelu Lukaku. And Arsenal's 10-game unbeaten run is about to be ended. It says, don't you dare jinx us like that. Quick thinking with a free kick. Angolo Conte caught them out with a ball through. And there is Romelu Lukaku. You cannot buy the ability to score goals that Romelu Lukaku's got. Well, you can because Chelsea did. Arsenal, though, looked to hit back straight away. Maybe I should be looking at changing the mentality. Uh, let's see what happens from this highlight. It is Odegaard. Odegaard straight across and Aubameyang's put it in. And we have been pegged back immediately again. We think it may be offside. VAR's going to check it. And the goal has been awarded. It was an offside. And the, the joy is short-lived once again. Arsenal have had like two chances in this game and scored them both. It's really unfortunate. Chilwell has to be careful there. Maybe he can dig out across. He has done. Pulisic to keep it alive, maybe. Chelsea might try and nick this. It's Lukaku looking to spin. And Mount has put it wide. Oh, Mason Mount with a huge opportunity. We've deserved to win the game if you look at the XG. But Arsenal might be about to sucker punch us here. Headed away by Christensen. There's still three minutes to go here. So this is a real highlight. Keepers come and collected. So where are we going with this? I mean, you'd think we're probably going to tr try the wide areas once again. Chilwell's had a good game, by the way, since we've changed it up. We're in towards Lukaku. Kante now, wide for Pulisic. Can Chelsea find a winner here? It's crossed towards the back post and Kai Havertz is there. Yes. I mean, I've, I've played this one pretty well. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Kai Havertz, the substitute, to find a way. And he has, for God's sake, do not... Get on defensive for two minutes. This is a huge match and a huge win if we hang on. Kai Havertz has done the business from the bench. Chelsea 3, Arsenal 2. We've deserved it as well. Time is flying through. End that unbeaten streak is what we've just done. Look at the performances from people. Kai Havertz off the bench was a 7.7. Pulisic off the bench was a 7.2. Lukaku with a super performance. Two goals for him. Pulisic got the assist, by the way, at the end. that I, I clocked that. Chilwell, Kante with assists. I'm pleased, boys, because that's a very good performance against a pretty good team. And we've come out with all three points. Well done. There it is then. Chelsea, top of the league. Arsenal, of course, do have a game in hand. We are aware of that, as do Manchester United. So it's very, very close at the top still. But the next game could be super important. We've got Tottenham who, are, look, it's not an easy game, but Arsenal have Liverpool. Liverpool are going to want to bounce back. Arsenal are going to want to bounce back. I have my eyes focused on that one next. As well as our match, obviously. OK, here we go then, big one. Friday night football, which means for us, it makes things a little bit clearer this weekend. We will take a look at Arsenal-Liverpool after the match. But if we win, we guarantee top spot at least until the next round of fixtures. That's what's important. Liverpool Arsenal is a late kickoff. We'll keep an eye on that. Leeds Man United as well, by the way. Man City Everton. So a lot of big games, but none bigger than your Friday night and the London derby between uh, Tottenham and Chelsea. We are away from home, of course, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, but this is the team. I should have showed it you earlier, but uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it through this screen today instead. 
I'll be honest with you, it's the team that finished the match more or less, apart from Thiago Silva. So it's Mendy in goal, the back four that started with James Christensen, Rudiger and Chilwell. I've given Rudiger a bit of a kick up the arse after a bad performance last time out. So hopefully he's back to form today. Jorginho, Conte and Mount in the midfield. Pulisic on the right, Havertz on the left, Lukaku up front. I am not starting. You hear me right. I am not starting Hakim Ziyech. So let's see if uh, Kai Havertz earns his place today. He, he put in a really good performance and I, I, I want to I wanna sort of reward performances off the bench, which is why Pulisic starts as well. No hudson a doy. Tottenham then line up, uh, well, an interesting formation. We'll look at the formation when it comes up properly because um, it, it's interesting. <laughs> um, right. I expect nothing but a win. That's what I expect. It's motivated the main guys. Um, uh, we got a good away record. Good, because we're a good team. I'm, I didn't really look at them, but here is we've we've gone straight. We've gone straight to the team. Hang on, where's the teams? Tottenham, right? So this is how they're lining up. You can see it here back three, five at the back. Of course, Nuno Espirito Santo. No, Antonio Conte. Of course, interesting. Um, Lucas Moura, Kane, and Son. I think this is a team we can beat. I really do. I don't think they're that good. Tottenham this year, as proven with the performances in real life. Chilwell with an early booking. That's worth keeping an eye on. We are away from home. Tottenham, in theory, would dominate the football, and they are with a 79%. But if we can hit them on the break and score the goals that we know we can do, that'll be good. First highlight, then, seems to be going the way of the Lily Whites, as they're called. Tottenham Hotspur, Lucas Moura coming forward. Can he dig out across for Kane? He does, and Harry Kane heads it agonisingly wide, it said. Come on, boys. Pulisic is knackered already. We're 30 minutes in. That may need to be a half-time change, you know, Pulisic for hudson Doy. He did just come back from international break from America. Maybe it was a bit of a rush to put him straight in, but I wanted to reward him. We have grown back into the game. We just haven't seen any highlights. And at half-time then, it is going to be nil-nil. I think we do make that change, to be honest. We, uh, Pulisic isn't having the, a fantastic game. He's tired. Let's get Callum hudson Doy on. No Hakim Ziyech yet because we're having a good performance from Kai Havertz so far. I'm going to say we need a bit more possession. I'm a little bit disappointed. So that helped them. Uh, we aren't, I mean, 30% possession isn't quite good enough, really. I know we're just trying to be a counter-attacking team. We're not trying to keep the ball and play that sort of football. But if you don't have the ball, you can't score goals too much. So... Let's see. I'm just going to dig into them a little bit. Demand a little bit more. It's not been the best of games so far. No one's playing terribly like, but no one's playing fantastic either. Um, and maybe tactically there's something we can do. James with a free kick here, though. Loris tips it around the post. Not really much of a highlight, to be fair. So I think I think we need to just change something up a little bit. We are trying to be direct and tempo, and that's fine. Maybe focus play down the left. as Maybe switch where we're focusing again. Go back down the left again. And uh, maybe that slight little bit of a change will result in an opportunity. Joel is obviously a good attacking fullback, as is James, don't get me wrong. James with a corner kick in, by the way, and Lukaku was very close to that one. Romelu Lukaku, very, very close. I feel like I really want to continue this good form we're on with another win, but a point wouldn't be terrible either. Here's Chilwell into Mason Mount, but there's space for him now. Jorginho to Kante. We can't quite lose it. They are pressing hard, by the way, Tottenham are. So we are working it out of the press really well. Lukaku into Kai Havertz on the edge of the box. In just a moment, it looked like he could get a shot away. He didn't. And I'm worried that Tottenham's press is going to cause us a problem. It did in the end because Jorginho wasn't quite there, but we've won it back. Mount over the top to hudson Adoy if he can keep in. He has done Lukaku. I mean, just for a second, it looked like Chelsea had an opportunity. But Tottenham defended it very, very well. From the corner, though, Chilwell to whip it in. Looking for Lukaku at the back post. Romero deals with it it's a game of very few chances our xg is just a little bit higher so tottenham have a corner because of course they do son with it whipped in and lucas mora has hit the crossbar that will rise their xg right back up that's for sure right with 10 minutes to go it is probably change time i'm actually going to stick Havertz up front um and get lukaku off who is struggling a little bit I know it's a bit of an odd change, but we're going to try it out. And we're also going to get, we're going to get Marcus Alonso on for Ben Chilwell. And I just wonder if Alonso can make an impact in an attacking position. Chilwell's not had a great game. 
Maybe he can dig a cross out. It's a Tottenham corner again. They've already hit the bar once. Mendy, though, catching it where you needed it to. Chelsea got a late goal against Arsenal to get a big win. Can we do it again? I certainly hope so. That's looking towards Hakim Ziyech. Heads it down for Havertz. Really good play. Mason Mount now will go wide for Marcus Alonso. We need people in the box for him. He finds the cross and Kai Havertz should have scored. Oh, that was the moment, wasn't it? That was what we'd built up there with the substitutes. And it didn't quite work. Maybe we'll get one more opportunity. A minute to go. Reese James getting forward on the right. Finding the cross. Hakim Ziyech is there and he scored. And the flag hasn't gone up. And Chelsea have done it again late on. And there is no VAR to worry about. I thought he might have been offside for some reason. But it doesn't matter. Two late, late goals in two big games. Super stuff. Hakim Ziyech off, off the bench to score. Tottenham nil, Chelsea won. And we are really ramping up our title challenge now. We are surely at full-time ref. Come on, blow your whistle. It seems like we'll get an opportunity. Kai Havertz to seal it. Forces a save from Lloris. But that should be it, right? Right. Don't you... Get, don't. Don't. I don't know. Like, Reese James has dealt with it. Mendy should deal with it. End the highlights and call it quits for a win, boys. We're into the third minute of added time here. And there it is, finally. Tottenham nil, Chelsea 1. Hakim Ziyech off the bench to score. I am so, so pleased with our ability to drive to the very end here. Uh, look, great win again. Extra satisfying. Inspired and motivated they are. We'll check how um, Arsenal and Liverpool got on. But oh, what a win. What a win that is. As you can see then, you'll see here we are four points clear. So even with the Arsenal getting a victory over Liverpool, if they do, we will stay top of the league. I said it could all change in these two fixtures. We've done everything we can to make that happen. Six huge, huge points. So let's see if we can continue that. Chelsea enjoying life with Dixon. You damn right. Um, 20 games, 14 victories. Six unbeaten in a row now, which is pretty good in the Premier League. Let's see if we can continue that. Interesting, I found out through here, but the loss meant Tottenham sacked Nuno Espirito Santo. <laughs> okay, then some huge results. We'll start from the top. I've seen it too, though. Don't worry. Leeds to Manchester United too. Good result for us, that. To be fair, Leeds getting a late, late equaliser through Dan James. Brighton beat Burnley. Leicester got a 4-0 win over Newcastle. That's a good result for us as well, because Newcastle have dropped right down from 5th to ninth with that. City got a win over Everton. They are back up into 6th. Wolves beat Southampton. Liverpool beat Arsenal by two goals to one. Arsenal, two losses in a row now, have suddenly, the wheels have come flying off. We are four points clear at the top. Arsenal can win their game in hand and we'll still be top of the league. That's the way I'm looking at it now. That win was so huge. So huge. And I am so pleased that we pulled it off. And what more is there to say about it? That is the perfect episode. Two big games, two huge wins, two late winners. If you don't drop a like on this video, what more can I do? What more can this game provide for you? So make sure you do like a make make sure you do blah 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 blah. Drop a like on the video. You know what I mean. I'm just talking. I'm talking, okay? Uh, subscribe to the channel and a whole lot more. And yeah, this title, this title could it could it, it could happen. It could happen. Until next time, peace.